Hey guys, what's cracking? Welcome back. Um, funny story, I did record this last night. I've changed my setup so I actually don't see my webcam in, down in the bottom of my uh, screen. Got to it, finished the video and then realised I had no shirt on so that wasn't getting released. Um, I'm going to try and make this a 10 minute video because I want to smash into another video afterwards which is going to be centred on obviously Star Atlas and the, uh, the GAO the Galactic Asset offering that's coming out. A huge amount of information to disseminate in that. But, um, yeah, so much, so much uh, going on in Star Atlas, as always. Every single week is amazing. Now, I was going to get into a bit of a long, drawn-out look at um, a Rory and do a better analysis of the event that occurred with which was the launch. Um it's something I've kind of working on as I'm growing with my experience putting these videos out there, the content, the study, and um, I really need to have better, uh, better study, concentrate on tweets, seeing stuff in the community, all that kind of kind of thing, and put it out there as to why I don't just have a personal opinion, but um, put fact behind it. So I did turn the automatic tweets off for these guys um, because it gave me the shits, honestly, the launch. But I kind of have put it back on now. And I, you know, if I'm going to be listing, um, making myself a Solana Games advocate and what's out there, I need to be knowing the information so I can put it out and you guys can work out what you like. Now, the day after this launch, the floor price was around 66 sol, I believe. Um, at the moment, 348k sol traded. Um, the Aurorians went down to. I think it was somewhere around 18 sol and have slowly gone up. So do I think long term this is going to go probably one of the potential looking games that will release something? They're still meant to be a free to play version. Now what's funny though is you see things like here, last 40 sol, 21.9, last 62 sol, 23.8. These people have probably borrowed and need to sell to flip. Now I don't really have any sympathy for those style of people that are speculating. This is the interesting part of blockchain gaming and the other side of it is people can speculate, people can buy coins, people can buy NFTs and then takes away from the gamers that's causing these 10,000 release auctions to be exploding. So the project that's doing it makes bank, but then it's not supporting what should be the overlying factor is the game. If the games don't get adopted, then the games are going to suffer and potentially these Aurorians will be worth nothing. So you can see, um, you know, that's a big statement. They're never going to be worth nothing. There's a lot of money involved in it, but I'm big on looking at playing games. If they're not played, they're not supported, then that character, which is meant to be a part of that game, isn't going to get full adoption there. Another one, 70 souls, 24.5. But rather than looking all the way through it, we can have a quick look at um, the sales. Um, I did look at this this afternoon while I was at work. 27 minutes, 44 minutes, 45 minutes. So two, four, five transactions in the last hour. They're not turning over huge amounts, but they are trading. So there was, I did notice a few bigger ones. There's 100. So uh, do, 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 do. I had noticed more than that. 79, so it's not huge. One of the Biggest sales I've seen has been 2,000 sold. So, you know, someone's made money, and this is where the explosion and the botting of these things is happening because there's money to be made. They wouldn't be botting them if there was no money in it. Um, it's just unfortunate that 6,600 thereabouts for unique wallets. It should have gone to 10,000 unique wallets. 3,300 people should have had that experience and chance, and you would hope that 5, 10% of that would be a gaming players. Um, KG Cars was a very funny one. I'm waiting for an interview from uh, KG Mike. Um, I'm hoping that things are settled down for him and we'll get some time together to have a bit of a chat and see how the launch, the events have gone. Now, this was a very interesting one because there was mention of potentially having a set price of USDC was my the way I uh, took it. But then they've come out with their release of cancelling some pitches and variations, changing the borders, five sol and eight sol with a higher percentage chance of getting rares and change skins and things like that. Now, when they'd originally put out at three sol, the sol price was about 40 at that stage. So 120 bucks to get a card to play a game was awesome. It's amazing. When they've gone for the second half of this, 
$120 was where Sol was at. So that's $1,000 top end. It's it's the, the community suffered from that. So there was a lot of kickback. Um, and we do see that in the price, you were seeing commons sold for under three sol at one stage. Now it's at 3.5. They do have trade volume, but it's very low, 27.1. And it's concerning. Um, I see at the moment, there's a lot of places releasing to get things out there and released to soak the fact that there's so much money in this community. And we need to do better than this as gamers, as um things like that you know like i i tried to buy at five and um eight and again sold out pretty much instantly i think it was 19 seconds um you can see here by the poor lack of trades that it's not moving so you've got people trying to sell for around the same price 5.4 to a 3.75 so some people are taking losses on this i don't really understand why you would want to spend eight sold um, and then sell it for under half um don't be, be careful with your money. Like There is risk involved in buying things at these costs. That would have gone to other people, but people are trying to do these flips that I keep talking about. There were some cool variations of the artwork. Um, I've considered buying in at around three sold myself, and I, I likely will if I see the prices come down again. So there's been some pretty cool prices and rares for around 12 sold, but we, we're talking about you know, $1,400, $1,500. And again it comes down to do we want these games adopted priority to drive up the initial sale of that there's talk of a um, video trailer coming out soon for possibly some gameplay um, i do hope to sort of pester mike and get a bit more info out of him but there was just a little bit of a short uh tweet about the world there so we did see a tweet from pixel dudes um just regarding um scams so there are so many scams across discord um twitter and people putting out links and stuff trying to traffic you to poor websites bad things like that open seas had up you know opened up there's been some dramas there um you've got to be really super careful it's awesome to see the platforms put them out um and these guys are leaders for the community you know nobody wants to um have anyone in the community if they're a decent part of it nobody wants to have someone else fucked over just purely because someone's using the, the name of a successful artist game creator dev we do see uh there was three more pixel dudes put up these are seven soul on squidstuff.com i believe yes there it is squidstuff.com 10 days no 10 hours so this is finishing i'll put the video out tonight so if you can see that then there's potential to buy um so we're looking at seven soul for that we did see the tweet there not long ago from Pixel Dudes regarding the um, possibly gameplay, maybe something like that happening. Um, now, let's have a look. Gamerplex.io. So this is Kinland's um, website um, on Metaplex. And 11 days on old Stevie here. They have a bit of a fun go with the names. Um, and we can see... He, they're, they're trying to pitch uh, different people, different communities. You can see um, Australian Racer here. I wonder whether Brocky's going to be in there. Um, I do have a soft spot for Kinland um, for my interactions with um, one of the game devs. He's in Perth, and I do hope to catch up for a coffee um, in a week and a half when I'm home on break. Uh, they do have some more launching out soon, and these guys are awesome where they start the prices out low. And the community decides, the communities are bidding these up. They're working out what their entry point is. Um, I believe um, he's looking at potentially linking up the problem with Kin, collecting the Kin in-game. And, um, yeah, so I will hopefully sit down, have a cuppa, and it's going to be awesome to have that opportunity um, in the community. I see that as community, and to be able to live sit down with someone in your hometown and actually ask them, how are you going? You know, how are you finding your experience as a developer for this this kind of thing? Um, and can I do anything to help? So very excited for this one. Um, there are some good cheap ones. Maybe we could cut the days down a little bit on the bidding. Um, you know, seven days is probably going to be enough. Now, I have had a bit of a chat to the French team. They are younger guys from, obviously, France, French. Um, I think there's four in the team and a half-timer. And they have got their pictures here now. 
this is one of the projects that I'm talking about how, to me, I can see problems and I, I, I'm not 100% happy with these guys. Just because I talk to someone doesn't mean I'm going to shill them out and go bye, bye, bye. Um, I want to get the information out there that I'm comfortable with and, you know, I want to protect the community priority. I've, you know, disclosed when I'm involved in, a, in something. I bought, um, oh, where are we? Did I get it right? No. I bought some of these coins at 10 cents. So I'm, you know, I spent 60 bucks. Um, oh, no, I've got that wrong. <laughs> uh, there we go. So I've shown it a couple of times now. Um, I bought some coins at 60 cents. You can see some price uh, there. Let's see if I can work out. So I bought them at 10 cents. I could have sold these for 50 cents the other day, walked away with a little profit, but um, that's not what I'm making this about. I'm not making this about uh, making profits for the game. So there will be stages where I'll explain that. Um, 30 cents a coin, so it's gone up for me. Um, of course, and I can have a quick squizzy, no drops for me. I do like that they've concentrated on doing their launch themselves. I do like they're very energetic and talking to me. Um, I had a list of questions for them to ask and answer. And, you know, we had a bit of a chat back and forth, but haven't seen some of the answers to these. So they're following their roadmap. They've done a launch on their own website. Um, and you can see here one of the eggs from the Genesis series. What I didn't like was they came out as um, 1,000 goo. At that stage, goo was 50 cents each, 500 bucks. This this is fairly average looking to me. Like what I really loved about this at the start was it was a little bit, you throw out some coin, you support their ecosystem and you get a percentage chance. You might not get a drop, but at least you've had a crack you put in there. I, I priced in, you know, what it was at at the time. And, you know, I've got my own crypto things and, and journey as well. Um, so 60 bucks, nothing. But 500, um, there's no list of exact amount of these. We're only seeing numbers that are tweeted at stages. 200 were sold the first night then um, 100 were airdropped. Um, unlucky for me, didn't get one. I'm not unhappy with that. Um, I'm in it to talk about my experience at the same time. Um, there is a bit of a read through in the article. and I like how they mentioned, you know, planting trees. They go and do the maths for it. That was one of my questions was, you know, how did you come to the maths of working out per nodes and how many trees you have to stake? Um, so hopefully I hear back from those guys and I get a little bit more information on that. For me, um, I'm absolutely not going to buy anymore. So life has been an interesting journey. Uh, when I first bought these guys, uh, they were about um, they were about basing it on the game of life and the experience of getting a, a baby. You get that baby every three hours at ages one year. I think the maths are right on that. They put out some cards. They did even do this little experience here, which was a video representation of your baby's room. And, um, you know, they say your baby has a high IQ. Do you give it the car or do you give it the cube? So, you know, it's, it's cool. I'm uh, not super duper hard for them to do. Not super hard for them to do. I mean, I, I drive cranes. I sit there and wave sticks around and stuff, you know. So I'm not super duper into this stuff as in can I do it? Fuck no. But um, I, I don't think this is much. And enough for the community to see, well, we're seeing all of these projects with developing games that have got their uh, heads down, bums up in the air, and they're working hard, but we're not getting enough in the community. So what these guys were concerned about was not getting fully sold out. And they've gone and done, do, 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 they have gone and done a little thing, which was cool. It was a good start where they did a hold of verification. We filled out a form for the people that bought the, um, bought the babies and we can see some numbers i do like how this was straight out bank just under four out of ten thousand so they're 40 percent through sales but the game's not due to release excuse me the game is not due to release until quarter two of next year they don't need to be sold out um they need to engage in the community they need to listen to some of these people talking offering advice a lot of it comes down to Talk to your community. There's obviously people out there going, oh, I want my money back or give us bonus SLFT, which is their, their token, or give us a second baby. You don't want second babies. You want to have, look, I was up the top there. So, you know, I was, I was 
fifth in, had a bit of a yarn. You don't want additional baby cards, NFTs. It's not going to make your originals worth more money. You need people, bums in seats, playing the game. If people are playing the game, they're adopting the game. The game becomes more exciting, more enjoyable. You're getting friends. You're getting family to play it. You, you, you're getting it out there. More people YouTube. Look at this fun game. And uh, you can see at the start, just a lot of the normal chatter and spam. But um, there's some really great reads through this. And I have read right down to the bottom. Um, and I even do put out a couple of little how you goings myself. And uh, where are they? You can see I, I, I don't do short messages most of the time. Um, anyone in Grape will see that. I do some horribly <laughs> long things here. Um, you know, Super Keen Gamer, hence my YouTube channel. Keen as fuck in the current sphere of game exploding onto the scene. And I've sort of said, look, I'll throw out an interview to you guys. Um, I'm one of the researchers to Grape. I'm happy to sit down with you guys. We can work out languages. That's something that I've kind of learned over the last week is that as an Aussie, you, you, you become really, um, you don't understand that not everybody speaks English. You know, as, as, a, as a Caucasian Australian, I've grown up, I've only ever learned English. We studied Italian for two semesters before we travelled Europe. Um, so, you know, I know a little bit of Italian, but that was years gone by. Um, there was a lot of communication from the community here, but then they've been dark for two or three days. You know, there's been no response. It's disappointing to see. It would be really cool to see them switched on and go, well, OK, who can we utilise? It's not about getting influencers necessarily. And what influencer is going to do it? You might give them a card and they go, well, Am I going to put my name to this card if I was to get an NFT um, for shilling things, which was offered from um, from Google? You know, that's kind of put out this blanket offer on, on Twitter. If you guys advertise for us, we will, by you guys, anyone in the community, we will give you three NFTs. And to me, I would do that as a grape. Uh, I would just hand it over to Grape and say, let's do this as a giveaway. I'm buying cards. I've bought a baby. Um I've shown that in a previous video. I want to see this game and I want to play this game. Now, poster. This this is this is the team photo that I've had finally driven up, uh, drawn up, I should say. You will notice uh, if you've been looking at the change in videos in the last sort of week, I've had a bit of a teaser there. Um, and this was drawn from an, an Adelaide uh, caricaturist. Um, this is me and four of my closest mates and my partner. This will be our team for Star Atlas. This will be playing in Australian time. Um, we're part of the Interstellar Alliance. We're pumped. You can see here we're coining ourselves the Mercurials. I think there's going to be a very huge opportunity to advertise, to put your favourite brands on things. How that goes into the game, I don't know. Um, are they going to allow you to manually draw skins, put a get a spray can, can out in space and that? But really excited to talk to my boys about this um even my best mate here now i've grown up with these guys from the age of eight from from year four onwards um and it's really awesome to be able to get into the game and we had a bit of a chat last night specifically about star atlas so we will be playing on the interstellar alliance uh we need to define what's going to make us as a team we do want a pvp we do want to do missions it is a a, a blockchain game there is a huge propensity to make money. It's a huge propensity to lose money. It's take take risk. If you go into the GAO and spend uh, probably what's going to be $30,000 on this bad boy, then you need to realize that unless you've got insurance paying full percentage cover for this and then you paying that insurance and you've got to make money to pay guild um, percentages because all guilds will be charging percentages because there's going to be strategies for the guild and setting up alliances and setting up areas with guild resources you know you're going to have to work out there's so many different things and this thing would be awesome um could we get it as a team i think we probably could um but we've you know we've done our internal thoughts total supply four now i don't know whether that means the four poster holders that bought the complete series or whether that's going to be four for sale in three days from time of this release. So that's going to be like an early 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. Uh, three days. Is it Thursday morning? Shit, I don't know. Um, so I don't want to get too deep into this. 
more so just to show that there's things to have out and to put the warning out there. I personally wouldn't recommend to any of my mates, and I've done it also in the great protocol, I wouldn't recommend buying tear stakes, power plants and stuff at the moment based on the knowledge that we know. There's a lot of information we don't know, but there is some information that we do know. So the badges are out. The badges are likely going to be faction park bought, maybe $1, like, but people are trying to get sixty to a hundred dollars for these. Um, level one mines are selling for. Let's have a let's have a look. What are we looking at here? Mining drill. Clicking on trade. It would be cool to see a much better uh, uniform on there of like a, a list of what's selling and its current prices. It's very awkward and chuggy to look at. You can't go to work and um, you can't go to work and look at these in a one simple bang. I, I love to look at charts i love to look at prices of coins all throughout the day and we're seeing here 116 dollars on um on buy orders for these i've got posters i'm, I'm absolutely invested in the game um i want to you know i want to be able to succeed and all this kind of stuff but at the same time um, i'm holding on to mine it's not that i would feel bad about you know ripping people off but these are gone up from last night when I looked at them, you know, like um, it's not that I would feel bad about that. Everyone's going to take their risk levels. If you're going into something unprepared, you haven't done the research, you haven't done the time. So why am I saying do the research? What we know from, let's see if I can click on here. What we know from the posters, I'll break this down right now. And obviously, I'm going to be doing it in my next video. But if you go and get the DOI and you had that, does it give us our rewards? So if you've got DOI, that's still selling for cheap for what I think. There's 10,500 of those with a, with some change. 10,500 degenerative apes, six soul to start off with, floor price, 100 soul. Like this was one of the first successful launches of a game, introduction to a game, pre-release. Let's, let's not say launch of a game, pre-release. And these are interactive. They've got wicked film clips. They've got wicked... Um, stories behind them it teaches you about the history and the law behind the game series um 58 dollars reward tier value 64 dollars poster tier accumulated cost that means you get 58 dollars of game products you get 64 total the posters were six bucks yes it's worth more now i think it'll go up can we eventually find some way of staking versus that? I've seen some cool ideas and things mentioned. But we know that Pierce Bike on the Town Hall 15, just mentioned now, um, yesterday, $15. So that's going to be $15. So with that $58 of value, you get a stake, a mining power plant, a mining drill, and a, and a trading deck. You may not even necessarily need a trading deck. So the way that's going to work is your ore is going to go to the closest space station you might have your land in your guild area and it all goes to the guild station where it can be harvested smelted or just sold off as ore. plus you get the passport and the badge and they've said they're going to have one million uh, sorry one dollar to ten million dollars there's going to be a huge variety there's going to be things that are going to be auctioned super super exciting i think there's going to be some world records on some of it I think it will be amazing to see. There's going to be a lot of money put into this game. Some people are complaining about that. Now, to me, you shouldn't be complaining. You can enter the game and buy a $2, $2 $1, something for $1. You can buy an X4 bike and start the game and grind your way up. Or you, you want money into games. Not necessarily paid to win as much, but the more money that comes into a game means the more money you can earn. And it's a circular process. So I'm um, very much looking forward to that. So happy to release the poster. Um, it got tweeted uh, for Interstellar. Um, you know, like this leads into a video from Grape um, to be able to use that first work ticket. And, you know, this is something that's A3 drawn for me. I'll put that on my gaming den in the old nerd cave. And uh, it's something that I'm always going to get to keep of me and the boys and, uh, and the missus, of course. Um, you can see the asset types there. Um, yeah, really exciting times. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you, Mother, for the rabbits.